Ahoy, my friends. How's it going? Ryder here. All right, so today I'm going to go into round two of this same comp, uh, the same comp that all of Visipor is running. Um, before I kick it off, I wanted to show you guys, someone in the comments said that there's no way that Visipor as a guild is running this comp on every single squad. And so I just wanted to show you guys really quick. If you've never checked out their battle records, um, I just go through my friend Daniel and his guild, Rhapsody, who has fought them many times. Uh, and yeah, so right here on the right, this is Visipor. They're running Locke, Elena, Engelbert. And as I scroll down, you'll see basically roughly the same stats going down. Not a single change. Every single player. And this has been like a consistent uh, trend with Mizaport. I think they always run a unique team and all their players run it together, which I think is pretty rad, honestly. Um, it'd be pretty cool. I think that not many guilds uh, have the chance to do this, but it's cool that someone can. So let's go back. Today, I'm going to try and fight some mono fire teams, try and find some strong ones with strong Terras. Um, really quick, I'm going to run into how I'm building each character. Um, for Engelbert, I'm running him Paladin main job and sub. Um, I believe I have Saintly Wall on, Immortal Conviction on, uh, Saintly Cross on. I think Saintly Healing is the only thing that I actually have off on this setup. And then in the sub job, I have Sentinel off, Divine Grace off, and Taunting Blade off. I think I turn off Taunting Blade. He doesn't need it. He has the innate hate, and also with the AP of 44, it's just a huge uh, AP drain. I could probably turn on Sentinel, to be honest, but... We'll leave it for now. For Locke, and I'm seeing a bunch of people running Locke with different things on. I basically turn off, I think, yeah, I turn off Adventurer's Wisdom. This is a cool buff, but, you know, you don't want to run the risk of him not casting re-raise. I see Locks in Arena at 120, and, you know, a lot of the time I see them running out and they're not casting re-raise. They're, they're prioritizing other buffs. Um, and, you know, without the re-raise, it's a huge uh, detriment to him as a character, I feel. So this is how I'm running him. Uh, main job is a sub job, both abilities on. And in the main job, yeah, I think only Adventure's Wisdom I turned off. And lastly, in Elena, I run her Kotodama Wielder for the guaranteed hit, Unavailable Pain. And then Nimble Movement off. I keep this on, Anti-Magic Wall. Uh, Spirit Breaking Pain off, and this one on as well. In the main job, I believe I have everything on except Stella Maris. Yep. Alright, well let's get to it. Let's see if we can find... Alright, here's a Terra team. Alright, Mono Fire. Let's check it out. Pretty strong. I saw in Orange A's video he was able to get her to 9k HP and 1500 magic, so hopefully we'll find something strong like that. Let's give it a go. All right, so we're going to see if this Visibor team can run another 5 and 0 fights. We won't forgive those who make others suffer. Let's go, partner. All right, Terra coming out. Engelbert going to meet her. Locke getting off bells. Not on my watch. Engelbert running in. Lena takes down Megamont. Alright. And it looks like it's over. That was pretty savage. Alright, so that's one down. 
let's see what kind of strong teams we can find. Right now we're in the top two, looks like 1800 of arena. So there should be some pretty strong players. I'm gonna hold off on water until Astoria comes out. Okay, 115. Looks like there's no more mono. Oh, there's a mono fire team. Ah, but no Terra. All right, that's the same team. Maybe we can try against Jaden. Yeah, let's try this. This should be pretty interesting. Jaden pairing up against Engelbert. Yeah, I wonder, honestly, if running Engelbert over Yuna is better, or over Jaden. But I guess we'll see. Let's go, partner. Oof. Uh, that's why I turned off Sentinel on Engelbert, because he has Jum's TMR on. That makes sense. Okay, Engelbert on Courage. Honestly, that unavailable pain on Elena is so clutch. Alright, well it looks like Engelbert over Jaden in this one. Let's go search for some other fun teams to fight. I'm super excited to try against the the new Warrior of the Crystals Ice Unit, Velis. So it'll be fun to try some comps against him. This dude's rank 150, 165. Let's see. There's a fire team. Only 115 and running rain. Okay. I love rain. I wish he would have got the same treatment as Engelbert, to be honest. You know, maybe we'll try this water team. Or this water slash ice team. Ooh, let's try this. All right. It's honestly been pretty surprising. Like Engelbert was such a great character in the in the beginning of the game, and then when his EX came out, it was so good for him. And to see him still crushing it against all of the units that are out, even the hundred cost units, is just I think it's awesome. He's such a good unit. Oof, knocked it. Coming in. All right, Celis is down. Oberon's still over there, creeping around. And he got his barrier up. All right, let's see what he does. There goes Jim's TMR. That was a lot. 8K. All right, let's see what he does. Oof. Pretty good, but still, I don't think we've fought a single team that has killed one of our units for good, which is pretty awesome. Still looking for a super strong mono fire team. Let's see, this is for rank 165. Ah, still 115 though. 
Still a lot stronger. Alright, so let's try this one. I'm not sure. I don't have Terra, so I'm not sure what level she gets Courage. Um, oh, I think it's in her sub job, actually, as Paladin. So she should have it at 115. I guess we'll see. By the Azure Crystal. Oof, locked down quick. Oh, he was almost down for the count, too. Alright, we're gonna have to pull something back right now. Alright, Terra holding up. Lock out of mana. Angle on courage. Elena takes down Megamon. Elena on courage. Engelbird down. Alright, first team to take down one of them. Ooh, there's Reflex. This is close. Ah, uh, but she's too fast. That was a good fight. That was definitely closer. And that Terra was only 115, and she didn't use Courage at the beginning of the fight. I'm seeing that I think a lot of people are leaving on all the main, all the buffs. And I feel like so much of this game has to do with what abilities you turn off um, to adjust the AI. Here we go. Here's a Terra that's 120. A lot of HP, not quite as much magic, but let's see how it goes. All right, I think it's, I think if we win this fight, it'll be five and zero again, which will make this team comp ten and zero, which would make sense why everyone on Visipor is running it. So. Alright, Locke didn't get off Bells, but he did get off Re-Raise. Nice dodge. Terra almost had 10k HP over there. Oof. That confusion is so clutch. I think I'm running Locke at 70 space? Or maybe 55. Alright, Engelbert down. Setia down. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Lock down. Megamon's gonna get a shot at him. He uses a buff. Terra's on courage. Mega goes for Elena, misses. Ooh, he's got that cloud reflex. All right. And once again, on a 10 winning streak with this team, Engelbert, Locke, and Elena. Honestly, I knew it would do good, but I didn't think it would do this good. Super strong. Uh, I hope that you guys like the video. I'll be sure to put something up later on when I figure out some uh, some other comps to test out and try. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Peace.